हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी फोर्थ टेक्निक ऑफ फाइंडिंग इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर व्हिच विल कन्वर्ट अ नॉन एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन टू एन एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव सीन थ्री मोर टेक्निक्स ऑफ फाइंडिंग इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक ऑफ दोज वीडियोज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो लेट एस सी वॉट डज दिस फोर्थ टेक्निक टेल्स एस it says that if a differential equation mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 is homogeneous and not exact and if mx plus ny is not equal to 0 then the corresponding integrating factor which will convert this non exact differential equation to exact differential equation is given by 1 upon mx plus ny now let us see some real examples of the same here the question is to find the solution to a differential equation given by x square minus xy plus y square dx minus xy dy is equal to 0 very first of all we will check whether this differential equation is exact or not for that we will compare this differential equation with mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 and will recognize what is m and n here in this case m is x square minus xy plus y square whereas n is minus xy now let's calculate what is daba m by daba y and daba n by daba x since m is x square minus xy plus y square daba m by daba y will be minus x plus 2y and daba n by daba x will be only minus y observe that since these expressions are not same we say daba m by daba y is not equal to daba n by daba x and hence the given differential equation is not exact differential equation now we want to reduce this differential equation to an exact differential equation to do so we have to find a factor after multiplying which this differential equation will get turn into exact differential equation we observe that this differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation of degree 2 check here every term of this differential equation is of degree 2 so let's calculate what is mx plus ny here is your m multiplying it with x and here is your n multiplying it with y and adding we get x cube minus x square y you can pause the video and check the calculation note that mx plus ny is not equal to 0 therefore now we can say the corresponding integrating factor is 1 upon mx plus ny that is 1 upon x cube minus x square y you can take out this x square common so that integrating factor becomes 1 upon x square into x minus y now we multiply this differential equation with this integrating factor and we convert it into a exact differential equation so after multiplication we get this new differential equation now we simplify this differential equation distributing this numerator over this denominator we get these two terms look at here first two terms of this numerator are given here in this first term and this third term is given in this second term now you can take out this x common so that inside this bracket you will have x minus y which will get cancel with the denominator x minus y and you will have only 1 by x left here second term will be y square upon x square into x minus y and third term will be minus y upon x into x minus y dy now this is the differential equation of the type mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 so after comparing it with mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 we get m is equal to 1 by x plus y square upon x square into x minus y and n as minus y upon x into x minus y now let's find out solution to this differential equation using the formula integration of mdx plus 
इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ टर्म्स इन एन विच आर फ्री फ्रॉम एक्स डी वाई इज इक्वल टू सी सब्सिट्यूटिंग फॉर एम हियर वी गेट दिस टर्म एंड सिंस देर इज नो टर्म इन एन विच इज फ्री फ्रॉम एक्स वी टेक जीरो हियर इन द सेकेंड टर्म इज इक्वल टू सी एज इट इज नाउ लेट्स इवेल्युएट दिस इंटीग्रल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वन बाय एक्स इज लॉग एक्स Before integrating this second term, we use partial fraction and we split this term to these three terms. Now it is easy to integrate these terms. Integration of one upon x minus y is log of x minus y. Integration of one by x is log x again, and integration of y by x square is minus y by x. So that minus minus becomes plus. integration of 0 is 0 and this rhs c remains as it is later on you can cancel this plus log x with this minus log x so the final solution becomes log of x minus y plus y by x is equal to c this is solution to this differential equation i hope you understood every step of this solution now let us see another example of similar type Here the differential equation is x square y dx minus x cube plus y cube dy is equal to zero. First of all, we'll check whether this differential equation is exact or not. For that, we compare it with m dx plus n dy is equal to zero, and we'll recognize what is m and n here. Here m is x square y and n is minus x cube plus y cube. Therefore, dba m by dba y is only x square and dba n by dba x is minus 3 x square since these expressions are not same we say dba m by dba y is not equal to dba n by dba x therefore the given differential equation is not a exact differential equation now we observe that every term of this differential equation is of degree 3 that is this differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation so we find out what is the value of mx plus ny if it is not equal to 0 we say the integrating factor is 1 upon mx plus ny so let's multiply m with x and n with y and add them we get it is equal to minus y raised to 4 you can pause the video and check the calculation and since this is not equal to 0 the corresponding integrating factor is 1 upon mx plus ny that is minus 1 by y raised to 4 now we multiply the given differential equation with this integrating factor to get a new exact differential equation so after multiplying this differential equation with integrating factor minus 1 by y raised to 4 we get this differential equation now let us simplify this this y in the numerator will get cancelled with the y from the denominator we get first term as minus x square by y cube dx this will be x cube by y raised to 4 plus y cube will get cancelled with the denominator y cube and will have 1 by y into dy is equal to 0 now since this is an exact differential equation we will compare it with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 to get new m and n so here new m is minus x square by y cube and new n is x cube by y raised to 4 plus 1 by y now we write solution to the given differential equation using formula integration of m dx treating y constant plus integration of terms in n free from x into dy is equal to c m is minus x square by y cube it will go directly over here and we see in n there is only one term which is free from x that is 1 by y it will go over here so after substitution we will have this equation since for first integration we are treating y constant this minus 1 by y cube is a constant term you can take it out so inside the integral you will have x square dx which is x cube by 3 
So value of the first integration is minus x cube by 3y cube. Whereas integration of 1 by y dy is log y. And this RHS constant C will remain as it is. So solution to the given differential equation will be minus x cube by 3y cube plus log y is equal to C. I hope you understood every step of this solution. Now, as usual, I have couple of DIY examples. So this is your example number three. And this is your example number four. Please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. I hope you understood the concept of fourth technique of finding integrating factor from today's video. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.